My name is Joe and I'm a STEM gallery interpreter at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Today, we'll be exploring how you can read the night sky and how to track the International Space Station using just a website, our eyes, and our hands. The ISS floats 240 miles above the Earth's surface and travels at speeds of 17,000 miles per hour, which means the ISS orbits the Earth every 90 minutes. The website we'll be using is Spot the Space Station from NASA. We'll post the link in the description below. And little ones, don't forget to ask your adult for help. The site we'll be using is spotthestation.nasa.gov. Once the site is loaded up, you should see a map titled Sighting Opportunities and a little search bar that allows you to type in the city that you live in. I'll be picking Indianapolis as that's where the museum is. Once you click that, there should be a link that says View Sighting Opportunities. Once you click that and the site is loaded up, there should be a page with a bunch of different times and dates. So find the time and date that works best for you and your family and go ahead and record the numbers that you see there. Once we finish that, we'll head outside. Now that we know when the next sighting opportunity is, we can use our hands and the moon to help us find the cardinal directions or the main directions on a compass and the degrees of the night sky to find the ISS's arc or its path. I like to imagine the night sky as a dome in the north, south, east, and west cardinal directions tell us where in that dome to look. So to find the east and west cardinal directions, we're going to use the moon's rising and setting. The moon rises in the east, then sets in the west. Pretty easy, right? Now that we have those two, it's pretty simple to find north and south. We're going to imagine we're giving someone a big hug and have east be our right arm and west be our left arm. And the spot in between east and west, right in front of us, is going to be north and south is going to be behind us. These, of course, are the general directions of those locations, but we'll talk about that at another time. Now, to find the degrees, first we need to find the horizon. That's where the sky meets the ground far off in the distance. Now that we found it, we're going to stretch our arm out all the way in front of us like so. Pinky out is one degree. Index, middle, and ring finger like so is five degrees. 10 degrees is going to be knuckle from knuckle in a closed fist. 15 degrees is going to be index to pinky stretched all the way out. And hang 10 like so is going to be 25 degrees. Using various different combinations of these hand signs, we can measure the distance between two points of the night sky. Of course, these are just the general areas of these locations because not everyone's hands are the same size, but the bowl of the Big Dipper and the handle of the Little Dipper is about 25 degrees. With the information we recorded earlier, I'll walk you through how to find the ISS's arc. If I know it's going to start 10 degrees above north, I'm going to find north, which is right over there, use my hand sign for 10 degrees, and measure up from the horizon right about there. Next, if it's going to end its path 20 degrees above east, I'm going to walk over to east, then get my hand signs, use the 15, then use the 5, then measure up from the horizon map. Perfect. Next, we're going to find the maximum arc. So that for me is going to be about 30 degrees. And I need to find the spot in between north and east, which is going to be northeast. If it's 30, I'm going to use two of the 15 signs like so. Find the horizon then measure up from there. Perfect. Now that we have all three of those points, we can find the ISS somewhere along that arc. I formally challenge you and your family to see if you can find the ISS. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you all have a stellar night.